Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In today's video, we will be discussing and I'll be doing a demo of the Indian Stock Market Industry Analyzer Excel template. And in this video, I will be explaining how the template works. I'll be doing a demo of how you can control the different input controls. And then finally, towards the end of the video, I will also show you know how the template is you know where the data is coming from how you can add your own stocks to the to this template and then track them and customize this for your own purpose now let's get started so first i want to just talk about the the scatter plot itself so this is a scatter plot of two different measures one the, on the x axis we see the price on the y axis we see the change in price and the x axis can be controlled by this drop down and instead of the price, I can say uh, instead of the closing price or the current price, I can say tell you know show me the you know the number of employees in a company. So I can change it, and you will see that the x-axis is going to get updated in a few seconds. There we go. So now you saw that all the dots, each dot indicate a specific stock, and you saw that it changed according to the change we made. So if I go back and put it back into price and now it's going to take a few seconds it takes a little bit longer than the u.s stock market data because in the u.s stock market analyzer that we saw yesterday we only had like 530 some stocks but in the indian stock market we are actually tracking 1663 stocks so it's a lot more stocks more than three times and that's why it takes a little bit longer to refresh than um, the us stock market now the x-axis can be controlled the y-axis can also be controlled similarly and instead of the change let's say i want to see the change percentage then all i do is just update it and then you know wait for a few seconds and it'll update um, the list of measures that we have here as i think um, there are i mentioned that there are 16 different measures so the price change in price change percentage high price low price open price previous close we also have the 52 week high and low then we have the company information like the employees number of employees in the company the market cap pe um, and then the beta and then the share number of shares outstanding the volume of trading happened today and then volume average so all of these measures are available both in the x and the y axis and you can choose any combination in any way possible to plot the stocks on the scatter plot and that will help you to see for example right now the price when and we did price versus change percentage mrf which has a price of 79339.8 and then the change was very very little the change percentage is like 0.13 percent or so so it's very small change in percentage and that's why it ends up being in this spot on the scatter plot and if you see the biggest change that happened here is from this data point the raj rayon stock which had um you know 25 percent uh, it looks like it's a 25 percent change um, but let's go and take a look at that data behind that. In order to see the data behind it, we can go to unhide and then to the data tab. And now we will see, for example, if we have to see what is the um, specific thing for the Raj Rayon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can find, maybe we'll see. Okay, there we go. So we found the Raj Rayon Industries and the price is 0.25 and the change is also you know 0.25 which is 25 percent so it's just an unusual combination or a coincidence that we got that information um, for that stock that way i'm just going to leave that sheet here we'll come back to it later but you can see that specific stock values are plotted here accordingly and then you can visually see where something stands out on the you know on the far far right or top or top right so you can see where they fit according to these two measures price and then the change percentage and you can change them so those are the two important input controls you have the third input control i have here is like you can see the ticker symbol because we are seeing the symbol and for example h-o-n-a-u-t i don't know what it is mrf i can i can guess that but i cannot i don't know what h-o-n-a-u-t is Maybe I should know, but I'm going to just change it to name 
and now the label is going to update. This is to control the label. So Honeywell Automation India Limited is that stock. So the toggling the name instead of the sticker symbol, you can see that everything becomes very cluttered. So that's why by default use the ticker symbol, which is a little bit less cluttered, uh, but at least um, we'll start with from there, okay? So that's the third input control. Now we talk about the last three input controls, which are filters. So I can now say I, I'm only interested in the Bombay Stock Exchange stocks, then I can just click on that. And now you see that everything changed. And in the Bombay Stock Exchange, all the names appear to be numbers. Um, and then, so this is where I can now change it to the name. And maybe now the, num the, the names are more visible and makes more sense. Um, you know, Maruti Suzuki, Bajaj. So I can see everything out of the 1,663 stocks the Bombay Stock Exchange is what I've filtered now. So I can look at a group of stocks and analyze it. Um, and then let's see if I want to go, um, let me take it back to look at all the stocks and then now change it back to ticker symbol. And then now let's look at the next filter industry, which is the most, um, I would say, um, most relevant or most used of the, in this template where we can now say, okay, let me look at automobiles and auto parts. And I can see, you know, certain, only the stocks within the within that industry. I'm not seeing, okay, GNA stands out clearly. I'm not sure what GNA is. Let's take a look. GNA Axles Limited, that's, the, that's that one. So let's go to banking. In banking, we can see Bajaj Finance, Housing Development Financing Finance Corporation (HDFC). Um, we have Times Guarantee Limited. Let's look at beverage. We can see United Breweries, um, Ravi Kumar Distillery. So we have, you know, all those in that industry. We can. I'm just scrolling through to see if anything. Communications. Um, the communications. Sterlite Technologies. Computers. We BPL, MARC, ITI. So let's see consumer goods. We have Godrej Industries, Bombay Burma Trading Corporation. Let's look at diversified retail, shopper stop. And then we can look at electronic equipment, Honeywell Automation, clearly there. And food and tobacco, Hindustan Foods food and drug retailing let's see healthcare equipment there's not a lot and let's see hotels and entertainment so you can see the difference jubilant food works limited insurance bajaj and then we can see media and publishing saregama india Apple india limited and then we can go further oil and gas pharmaceuticals and then let's look at a couple more software uh, i think very popular so software you can see that there's a whole bunch here so let me just limit to nse or the national stock exchange still have a lot so let me see bombay stock exchange we see tata consultancy infosys tech mahindra hcl you can see how they are again it's a little bit easier to see when you have fewer things and that's kind of the point as well so let me um, un unfilter so if you have to clear the filter just click on this thing for each of these three filters now you still have a lot and you may want to just compare uh, uh, two or three specific things let's use telecommunications which has fewer things so reliance communication i can select reliance and then i can select tata communications so this is how you can choose two specific stocks right and then if you want to add Vodafone to it then all I'm doing is selecting and then pressing the control key and then selecting the next one so now I have selected three different stocks within an industry and so that's how you can use this template to select and analyze it by all these different dimensions that are that different measures that I mentioned um, from this drop down from this drop down so just to recap the purpose of the template is to analyze the stocks overall in the market number one number two is looking at a specific industry and then looking at what's happening the third one is within specific stock symbols you can choose 
and then compare them across all these measures. Now, to end the video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the data behind the scenes and what's going on. So if I go to the data sheet, you can see that it's already filtered. So in order to clear the filter, let's just go clear the filter. And so we can see all the data. So now I'm going to go back to the data sheet and you will see this is where all the data is getting captured. So the stock symbol is here and we are pulling the information for that stock symbol into these columns. And that's what's getting displayed in the in this chart. Okay, great. Now, if you want to change this and have a different set of stocks, not just these stocks, it's very easy. You can, I'll, I'll show you how you can add more and it's the same concept. If I want to delete existing one, I can just select right click, delete the rows. So you don't have those ones. You can delete them easily. But if I want to add more, then I can go here, extend the table. That's the first step. The second step is I can now type in something. So if I type in Tata and it will now automatically capture it, right? And if it doesn't understand what it is, you can right click and say, um, let's say if it didn't understand, uh, then it will pop up a, a dialog box on the right. So I'm just going to show you how it will look. It'll look like this. Oh, we don't understand what you're typing. So I'm just going to type in again and now it will show me all the stocks that have this um, you know tata name matching so you see that tata communications is in national stock exchange as well as in the bombay stock exchange so depending on which one you want i can select it this is how you can choose your own stock as soon as you selected it you will see that these values will get updated right if these values are updated that indicates that the excel is able to pull in the information from the market that's it that's all you have to do. Then you can hide the sheet and you can go back to, um, you know, analyzing the stocks in the in the plot. That is how the template works. That's how you can customize it to create your own list of stocks and analyze it in this stock analyzer. If you have any questions about this template, please let me know. If you have any suggestions for future videos or templates, please put them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Uh, about Excel for stock market. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Thank you.